adjust mine. <laughs> Let me look real good with our camera off. Hello there, bunny coming. It's me. Hello. Hey, I'm happy to talk to you again today. Uh, what are we going to talk about, Spirit? What's up? What's up? There's no cards. So if there's no cards today, so again, I'm just going to ramble on <laughs> and hope something good comes up. Um, ladies and gentlemen, I would like to make an informal announcement. I feel like I've already said it once. Um, I actually think I deleted the part of another video that I thought I was going to put this in, so I'm going to say it again. Uh, me, Akon Star Elohe, I am not an astrologer. I don't believe that what happens up in the stars happens here. I don't believe as above, so below. I do not believe that. Um, if anything, I would like to confess something that I think we can discuss really fast. Um, I've noticed that the the astrologers I do watch are very specific because I have extremely high discernment and I don't like to watch a lot of bullshit and fluff. Um, therefore, the astrologers I do watch are the Peace Dealer, OJC Astrology, and Baha'i Life are my main three. When I do tune in, those are the ones I watch because I know their messages. Their channeling sessions are very um, raw and informative for my development. Um, but I've noticed this week in particular, since I've kind of like gone on my little rant of saying, yeah, I don't... I have been watching all these astrology videos for so long and I've continued to notice that astrology is not my thing. Um, the irony is every video I've posted this last two weeks or over a week, um, everything that I've said, I literally said what I said in my videos, right? Um, and then I go a few hours later, maybe even a day later, I see a video by OJC Astrology, Bihati Life, or Peace Diller, and they're literally saying the exact same thing as their like weekly reports for transits or um, full moons or something, they're saying the exact same thing I'm saying, right? But when they say it, they say like, oh, it's because Saturn and Jupiter are transiting and Pluto is retrograde, right? I do not say that. I have nothing, I say nothing about the stars, even more I say my messages earlier than they're saying it. And again, it's just basically almost the same message, just tweaked slightly um, for the environment, but it's the same message. So then it makes me go back, like, is astrology real? Is astrology real? Then I feel like, yes, there's definitely some depth to it. There's a reason why I feel like it's becoming more encompassing in society and the role that it takes. Um, for me, it almost feels like a double-edged sword uh, about astrology, because as someone who, like, clearly identifies as a witch and just be doing witchy spiritual things um, that are not traditional, like I'm not a traditional Christian or anything like that. It's not my vibe. Um, it's hard sometimes to open up to others because I don't want to offend people and people are very quick to be like, you're a Satanist. You, you're, you talk to demons. Those aren't angels. Ghosts aren't real. Like people are just really aggressive and gross and nasty um, and I don't want to talk to them. But then it becomes an issue of like, the other people, right? There's another crowd of people who love astrology and maybe don't even really know that much about it, but they know like their sun sign or their moon sign and that's like it, right? But they love it. They love it. And I think that's awesome. That's cute because it becomes like kind of a talking point, but it also becomes like an ill talking point because they feel like everyone has to be a certain way. Like I've had it where <clears throat> recently I moved, so I'm meeting more people when I can and I've noticed people will be like, oh, but what's your sign? And I'm like, oh, I'm, I'm a Pisces sun. And they're like, ew. <laughs> or even not, even if not, they still have their own, even if it's not ill, they still have their own idea of what a Pisces is before they meet me. They've already judged me before they've even got to know me because of this one word that they've decided to use as a label. And this is why psychically I think astrology, but it's not going to appear damaging at first because at first it seems so inviting and that people are more open-minded now and can see things spiritually a new way and like are psychically wanting to be more in tune and that that there is like the bread and butter situation of why it's so glorious to see but also very uh, to see because i don't think people are realizing the nuances that are coming along with it and not being addressed because now it's like you're closed-minded if you don't think astrology is cool uh it becomes it's just becoming a thing. It's becoming a thing and I don't, I feel again alone <laughs> for usual in my beliefs and what's, what I stand for. Um, and again, I'm gonna keep emphasizing like literally I get my messages way before these people that are similar in terms of what I can say collectively to other people and not even only collectively, like personal messages too um, that I choose to share 
but I still like I'm still full ahead like which still feels like an advantage because again I'm not going to not watch astrology because I see the value and the the teachers that are going up and saying their little splu <laughs> I see the value in their tarot as they incorporate it into their into their astrology talks why why did someone say Pisces are like this why did someone say Sagittarius rising means this why did someone say that your north node in 10th house means you're going to be in the public eye who decided that who decided that and who and why collectively did we all decide that's okay but I also feel like it's like a double like it's, it feels silly. It feels silly because people just choose what they want to believe in. Because a lot of the people I see who like are in astrology and things like, obviously I'm just going off what I see on TikTok and comments on YouTube. Um, but they like are really against Christianity and organized religion. But astrology is basically just becoming like this organized cult in its own way. Um, and then even more so, I'm going to throw someone in blast because I doubt he's going to watch my video. I had a date recently. And this man literally told me, and I know, I know, I know there are other motherfuckers like this. He was like, yeah, I don't really like a believe in astrology because it's pseudoscience, but I believe in like the like ENFT, INFP thing where they take your psychology of your personality and put it like four letters. He's like, I believe in that because that's science and that's real. And I was like, <laughs> laughing in my head, like, <laughs> you think that's real? You think that's also more accurate than astrology? That some fucking old ass white man probably put something together and said this is how we're gonna decide how humans are and you decided because it's science, so it makes sense? <laughs> it's all a lie, it's all bullshit. It's all very controlling, it's all very silly that people choose to want to be put in these boxes and don't see it as a, a new way to just add more judgment to others. I don't understand that. Maybe it's because some people want to play along. It's kind of playful. That's why I was drawn to astrology. I was like, this is this is playful. This is fun. And it's fun to just take personality quizzes. Like I remember even as a kid, when I first had the internet, we'd go on like Lizzie McGuire on Disney Channel and do like little little uh, those little tests to find out what I'm like, you know? People like that. It's very buzzfeedy. It's very I just wanted to hear somebody else talk about me, but no one else is going to know you as much as you know you. And even more than that, you're constantly changing in so many ways. So to say that one person is like this and you are like this because of something that you never, someone you never met decided just seems very silly, very silly to me. Um, but again, I understand. I'm usually a lone wolf in these things. So even more, that's why I'm going to keep going with this YouTube channel. I'm going to keep ranting about all this random stuff. Because <laughs> eventually people who agree with me will come and if they don't, if you don't agree with me, I hope you still watch to kind of like to really truly sit with yourself and decide like, is this my absolute truth? Or is this one I'm just playing around with? And I want to emphasize too, like there's nothing wrong. There's nothing wrong with doing things just because they're entertaining. This life is quite boring and repetitive and redundant. So it's fun to have things to kind of like lean on and um, be inspired by. But I would just be mindful, be very mindful. I feel I feel the need to go back to tarot messages on YouTube. Like um, I, when I first started watching tarot messages on YouTube, I would try to click on people who were like Pisces. This is blah 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 for Pisces. I would click on Pisces a lot because I was like, well, I'm a Pisces son. It must be true for me. But no, dear, it wasn't true at all. <laughs> it was a lot of fluff. It was a lot of fluff. It was a lot of fluff. Was I entertained? Yes. I love seeing also how people use their mediumship skills differently, how they kind of, um, how their psychic abilities show up in different ways, how people's personality is also shine through. Um, and it's also just interesting to see collectives, the collectives being built within the tarot communities. Like, um, ooh, I see, I just see magic. And I understand, I understand the significance of Christian people being like, oh, it's all demons and you people are terrible and you're going to go to hell. Like, I don't agree with them saying that. I think it's absolutely ridiculous. But <laughs> it's more of like seeing people's mindsets. Why did they get there? Why did they decide that witchcraft and magic and astrology and all these things were evil or bad? Why? I don't want to completely dismiss all the sides. And again, I don't even think it's one or two. This is why I also have a hard time uh, talking to others. So a lot of people are very like it's black and white but literally it barely anything is black and white there's so much of a spectrum of gray happening in so many things um